Hey there, my name is Vladimir Uspensky and I am a music producer and an artist. Today on this channel I am starting a new series called Self-Education. In the first talk, talk one, we will think about this principle called step by step. I'm sure you heard about this rabbit and turtle competition. So this principle is about to be a turtle, don't be a rabbit. And how it works, I will show you on two examples, because sometimes it's not necessary to talk. It's much better to show something and things becomes clear. But before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, this YouTube channel. Also, I have Spotify and that's very important for me to have more subscribers there. And I have Instagram, all that you can find in the description. And let's go! The first thing... Ah, let me tell what, what examples I've got. Uh, I've prepared for you. The first, they are very different. The first one is about piano. I've, I, I was self-educating myself during the last five or six years on piano. And uh, I, I think I'm, I've got quite uh, good results. The point where I am now, for me, five, six years ago, is like unbelievable point. And another thing that I want to start from will be very different. It's from my sports uh, part of my life. Uh, let me tell you a few words before I start. Uh, I, I've got a daughter eight years ago, and uh, when she bec became like quite big kid, like about two years, I found that it's uh, hard for me to put her to my shoulders, like, sh so to, to go with her like this. Because next day sometimes, or like next week, I had some problems with my neck, I couldn't do it really well, and I have more problems with my back, and, and uh, I will not go so deep, but anyway, I found that I need to train myself because my uh, my body, my my especially my back, is very weak. I uh, am so thin and uh, like everything is bad inside of those bones, main main bone and other bones. So I started to do kettlebells, and uh, I was doing it very careful, like without any. Uh, without too much pressure, but um, finally I moved on, I started to do boxing and I, I, I was quite good at the point when I decided to do Jiu-Jitsu, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And uh, I, before, even before I started, I, I, it was clear to me that it's really hard, will be <laughs> really hard to do because I'm already 42 years old. So I decided to prepare myself a bit. And uh, here it comes my first example. Here, it's, uh, it's a 16 kilograms uh, kettlebell. So I decided to do this kind of exercise that you usually do with a hammer or with this weapon, ancient weapon, I'm not sure how to call it, but like the idea is to do these kind of movements across your head, so to all your muscles, shoulders, like triceps, triceps, and, uh, like a lot of muscles are involved in this, so it looks like this. Oh, yeah. uh, this one I need to take out for this example, so it goes like this. And I've tried this with 16 kilograms, that was easy for me. 
Then I've got my next kettle, kettlebell, 24 kilograms, and I've tried that with 24, and oh, I understood that it, it would be impossible like in the, at that moment. So I thought I'll go up from 16 to 24, day by day, with short, small steps. I had uh, have these a lot of these additional small weights, so I was putting a little bit. Then next day add a bit more. Then next day more, more, more. Then like after three, four days, I got break one, two day break to relax. Then more, more, more. If I felt myself not so good, I just was staying the same weight for a few days or relax. So. Without any rush, I finally was able to do this with 24 kilograms. That is quite big for my weight, like this. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's not complicated for me. But what is more, even more interesting, now I'm on my way to the next kettlebell. I even don't have it. It's Unbelievable, huge for me. It's 32 kilograms. It's twice, twice bigger than this pretty big one. And uh, I'm already almost in the middle of this journey. So I will show you now that it's 24 and now two more, 26 and a bit more. And that means 27. I'm on, on this point now. 27 kilos and that's really hard to do this I'm already warmed up don't do this without warming up and if you are not prepared don't do anything with weights if you are not doing that for years uh, do it with a coach okay so that's 27 kilos and what I'm doing now it's like this So I will not do a lot, not to take the time, but you've seen that it's, it's possible. And that's quite a big kettlebell. I couldn't imagine when I was a kid that I'll do this. So that was my preparation to go to Jiu Jitsu and it went quite good. Now I started to to do Jiu Jitsu. So, and the second, the second example is more musical one. Uh, the same years, about, I think about, it, it was six years ago, when I bought, bought this piano, and I'm so happy about that. That's one of my best investments in, during my life. Because I learned to play piano, that was my dream. I couldn't play that moment six years ago, and I think what I can do now is quite impressive. Let me show you. In the beginning, I couldn't do. I could do because I, when I was studying music in college, I was doing some piano, but it was almost nothing. So I could do something like this. No, that's absolutely impossible. like this. Yeah, like this. my level and I was practicing I wanted to play stride piano stride piano means old style before swing era piano next to rec time and that means that you should play this and then you go with you go far but how I did it so I was doing very very slow with one chord first like this with metronome or even slower so to have enough time and attention to control what I'm doing even slower I was doing that then after this one is after days it was quite good I added another one another chord and was practicing both of them 
you don't need to practice that for hours. Do that for five minutes, ten minutes per day. And I mean those chord practice. And that will give you quite big result in one month, for example. No, five minutes, that's not enough. But if one day you don't have any time, try to find five, five minutes. That's, that's always possible. And then another day practice for one hour. So I was doing that, I was doing it faster, and then I was adding some more bass, different bass. Then you add some octaves, and etc. The same with the right hand, you do it separately, like here you will see. So you do something like, for example, this, one chord. Another chord, and you do it very slowly. slower like this and then after days step by step uh, the main thing is you do it with metronome and that means that you add one uh, point per minute each day and you go from it's almost the same tempo that you you've got one day before like and you you do it easily. And then in, in 30 days, you've got already 30 more, or even you can go faster. So your, temp, your tempo goes up and upper and upper. And finally, you've, you've got like this. So it's already quite good tempo to, do, to, to perform some piano. Okay? So, and finally, you combine all those things that you were studying first uh, on the, that basic level and then you can do some additional things like you learn inversions like this you're not only playing this you play like both then you learn another one, so you have three of them. And you learn to move from one to another, and then you go like blah, 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 blah. Uh, that, That's how it works. Like So finally you can... You can do things that you were not expecting acting that you would be able to do. That's how it works. Uh, I have more videos about piano. I, I will not show you uh, right now more things because I have a lot of videos with explanations where I'm showing how to play some basic stuff. You can find them here in the description and here if you watch this video on YouTube. So that's it. Also, I recommend to, to you to watch uh, a video where I'm doing trumpet, trombone, tuba with my mouth. That's what I'm learning right now. And you will see the process from inside, like in, in the middle of the process. Because I'm not uh, quite, I, I'm quite good at that, but still not very good. Uh, let me show for one second. Like, I'm doing trumpet and this sounds like this. And how, how do I learn that? I, I'm sure I will do another video only about mouth trumpet, but in, in two words. I'm trying to listen trumpet. To, to, to make my sound close to Chet Baker, to uh, Louis, Armst Louis Armstrong. To, I listen to the guys like Mills Brothers that were imitating trumpet. Or I listen to some videos with beatbox guys that are explaining how they do it. 
I'm trying to do it with my mouth. I'm listening, I'm recording, I'm trying, I'm doing some strange things. Uh, I'm trying, trying, it could be, could, could, from outside it could look silly. But finally, I've got something that is very close to trumpet with uh, this sordina. So, you see that this method, this principle, going step by step, doing things not, without hurry, that really works. And that was all that I wanted to share with you today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, uh, watch other videos of myself. I have, I'll put some cool videos of beatboxers that are doing mouth trumpet and explaining how to do it there in, in the description and yeah see you tomorrow thank you